In this video, I'll be showing how you can use the wide range of animations that come with the free City Sample Crowd Pack for your other metahumans. I'm using this Seinfeld parody scene that I've been working on to explain, and just to note that these characters aren't supposed to look like the ones from the show, just vague similarities to them. Just as an example to show, if you have your city sample metahuman here, and once you've put them in level sequence and deleted the control rigs, you can then select any of the animations which start with MTN, FTO, etc. But what if you want to use these city sample animations with other metahumans? Well, if I drag a custom metahuman in, and again delete the control rigs, I can't choose these animations as they're set to be used only with the city sample metahuman skeleton. So they won't even show up as an option. The solution to this is very simple. Open the metahuman blueprint, choose the body, and double click the skeleton mesh asset. Then click this skeleton icon. Under manage compatible skeletons, click add skeleton. Search for SK base, which is the skeleton that city sample uses. Add this and save. You can now use any of the city sample animations for the body of your metahuman. The face is the same principle. City sample metahumans can use any of the city sample face expressions. But if you try to access these face animations for your metahuman, they aren't available. So to fix this, we go into the metahuman blueprint Open up the face mesh, select the skeleton icon, and do the same process for the face. This time, we're searching for archetype. Hover your cursor over to make sure you're selecting the one that's in the city sample folder, as the regular one is also called face archetype. Add that and save, and now you have all the face animations available. If you ever get this issue, where the animation is forcing the face mesh out of the body, go to the face base, change the blend mode to masked, and hook an opacity mask up to the relevant pin. Apply and save. You can make these opacity masks yourself. I have a tutorial showing how, or just use the ones I've included in the link below. Wait a bit for the shaders to compile, and you'll have something that looks better and can be adjusted to fit right. Also, if you get any popping of hair or other parts of the metahuman, as shown here, set all the elements to bound scale 10, another way to get animations to your metahuman is with retargeting. Here's just a regular content pack animation that uses the basic Unreal skeleton. Look for the skeleton name, in this case, SK Mannequin. Right click on the animation and go to Retarget. Select Metahuman as the retargeter. Choose SK Mannequin as the source. 
and for the target, you need the body that your specific metahuman has. In this case, it's the male, medium, normal weight one. Select a folder to save it and press retarget. You now have that animation available, which can be adjusted with some keying or combined with other animations in the level sequence. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and thanks for watching.